All right, good morning. I got this I-18B, and this is what we see right now. It's been, looks like it's been sitting idle. The drain hose has been sheared off. Squeegee came to us, um, pretty filthy. They have it upside down as far as the straps concerned. Um, supposed to be mounted the other direction. Uh, boy, that's bad. Okay. And uh, let's see here. We got a uh, brush, light scrub poly brush. Uh, let's see what kind of batteries we got here. Looks like uh, well, I'm gonna wait till I empty the tank. But peeking in here, uh, it looks like uh, I can't tell. Okay, there was a clog inside the hose, and I finally purged it out, but. This has to be cleaned up on a daily. We have to keep this open. I'll be able to, I'm gonna try my best to get it cleaned up for the customer. But one thing that's disturbing is there's a uh, duct that's missing that protects the vac motor from too much water. So somebody had removed that. I know it should be there because the bolts are still loose. So uh, besides that, um, looking at the batteries here, these are AGM batteries, so it sh didn't show any significant loss of uh, voltage. I'm um, going to check this connector here, this negative and positive, because I've seen some failures in those. So, uh, also it looks like with the uh, extra water that's being put in the tank without the float cage, it's falling on top of the batteries. You have to be very, very careful not to get water on top of these batteries because there's vents that have to breathe during the charge process. So it's a good idea probably once a week to look inside here, make sure it's cleaned up.